Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this overloaded cake. So to start off, I've got my 10 inch cake board, adding a little bit of buttercreams to secure my cake on top. And this is a six inch cake I'm using with some vanilla buttercream. I'll have a link to the recipe in the description box below. Flattening that out and then adding on my next layer of cake. Continue this up the whole cake. Make sure it's nice and flat so your cake sits up tall and even. Make sure they're all centered and then clear up the side of your cake. So that excess buttercream that's sticking at the sides, I'm pressing it up against the cake to trap in any of the crumbs. And that way we won't get any crumbs in our final layer of frosting. Then go around the cake to clear off all the excess and bring the excess uh, lip of frosting to the top, to the middle of your cake. Pop that into your freezer just to set for 10 minutes and then color your buttercream in the meantime. So I've used some Americolor gel food color here in turquoise and also in electric purple. And to decorate the cake, I'm using a smaller spatula because I found that a bit easier. I'm just adding it onto the cake, going back and forth, and trying to keep it an even thickness. It's about two to three millimeters thick. And then to lighten up the color, I've just used a little bit of that turquoise, added in some regular colored vanilla buttercream, and just mixed it through to create this really light turquoise and go over again, trying to make sure that you don't go below that line of your previous buttercream. And notice here I'm only loading my spatula about one third of the way, and that way it gives you a little bit more control as you're applying it onto the cake. The taller the buttercream is on your spatula, the taller it'll be on your cake as well. Here I'm just leveling off some sections that are a bit too tall for my liking. And I'm going in with my electric purple. Now here it's already been diluted. I'm using a lighter color first and then I'll use a true electric purple color on top. Add a healthy dollop onto the top and then just flatten it out and push it out to the sides and make sure that it's touching the other buttercream just on the outside of the cake. Go around the top just to lift that lip upwards so we can remove it later. And I found that it was a little bit too tall, so I went in with the, the other colored buttercream just to even it out. And then using a bent scraper, go around your cake. Here I'm going around really slowly and scraping off every time, just to make sure that I can keep those lines distinct. I don't want them to blend into each other that, one, that much. And use your spatula just to clear up the top. And then pressing it into the cake, just firmly but not too firmly. And make sure that your turntable is doing all the work. You want to rotate your turntable and keep your spatula steady. As you work up the cake, you'll want to kind of put the center of your spatula up against the line that you created. And try to keep your hand as even as possible. Once you're done, clear up the top as well if you've lifted that lip up again. And you can start assembling your edible pearls. So I've used four different sizes of pearls. I made sure that my larger pearls were at the bottom. And then as I worked up the cake, my pearls became smaller and smaller. Here are the regular draggies. And for the very top, I just used some sprinkles. And these are the pearls that I use. I bought these from Coles, I'm pretty sure. It was a while back, but the Coles or Safeway. Slash um, Woolworths. Here I've got some melted white chocolate. I'm adding in the gel food color in electric purple and some vegetable oil. Vegetable oil just makes sure that your chocolate doesn't seize. If you've added a lot of gel food color like I have, you'll end up needing to add a bit more of your vegetable oil. Otherwise, you could use coconut oil or kofa or floco. They all do the same thing. And then put a little bit of each color onto some baking paper and use a spatula to thin it out. If there's too much color, you can just add in some extra white. But it's all up to you, kind of personal preference. And you can do smaller individual shards as well. Just put a little bit of chocolate onto your spatula and just thin it out onto your paper. You can also achieve different textures, like for example here just going over the chocolate, creating kind of like, um, they kind of look like wings to me. I would expect this to be on like a gargoyle or like a bat. And then let them dry either at room temperature or in your fridge if you can, if you've got room. And they'll come off the paper really easily. Maybe about 10 minutes in the fridge. 
with these larger ones I'm just separating them into the individual shards just breaking them off just randomly and then positioning them onto my cake to make sure that they stick on there and they're standing up tall though they don't fall down adding some support here with some buttercream that was a 32 tip that I've used by Wilton here I've got an extra tall um, shard so I'm adding a lot more buttercream at the back to make sure it doesn't fall down and then decorate the rest of your cake I've used some turquoise buttercream that was left over, some white buttercream here are some chocolate Raffaellos I've also placed on some meringues and I have the recipe for the meringues as well I can leave a link in the description box below and some fondant blossoms just sticking them onto my chocolate shards with a little bit of buttercream with the white buttercream so you don't see on the other side um, the colour and then like a last I'm adding in some pearls just the same size that we used on the cake filling in any spaces and then topping it off with my little happy birthday cake topper and you're done to make a multicolored cake decorated with chocolate shards, some raffaellos, meringues and buttercream. But you could add anything on there if you wanted for very rochers, if you wanted to like a chocolate drip uh, along the sides as well will look really cool. But I wanted to try out the sort of beaded effect and I kind of really like it. A little something different. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you next time.